Nonpartisan analysts with the Congressional Budget Office have released their report on estimated costs and projected coverage for the GOP's proposed health care plan. And the report says if passed, an estimated 14 million Americans would lose coverage next year. Earlier today, GOP consultant Matt Makoviak and Glenn Smith from Progress Texas weighed in on the issue. So a number of Republicans have already spoken out against the new proposal. Matt, will the report play a role in whether or not this new legislation is passed? Well, I think it's going to get a lot of attention, certainly. Um, the CBO is seen as sort of the referee of Capitol Hill. Uh, and you know, I think you can make reasonable arguments about whether static scoring or dynamic scoring uh, matter. That's maybe inside baseball talk. But what it means is whether you are evaluating a bill in terms of how things are today, or you're evaluating a bill, its impact on the economy and the budget based on how things will change once it passes. I think most Republicans want to see a dynamic scoring model. I mean, if you take away the taxes, you take away a lot of the regulations, you create a market again for health care, um, there are going to be new plans that are, that, are, that are created by these insurance companies, many of which are going to cost less uh, when, because the cost will be less to them. So I think that's the real question. But yes, this, this is going to land, I think, this week. I think it is going to show uh, some number of, of people will lose uh, health insurance under Obamacare through the, through the uh, health insurance plans that they have. But there will be new plans created, and the, the argument is that they'll be cheaper and, uh, and, and better for patients. Uh, Glenn, do you think the report will help or hurt conservatives who are trying to pass the new plan? Well, it's going to hurt them politically, and here's why. Health insurance in America was invented in the 1920s and 1930s because medical science and care cost much more than many Americans could afford. Advances in care were simply beyond their reach. So we pooled ourselves into private insurance companies, employer-based insurance. Sooner or later, the cost of medical care was so much that even insurance companies didn't cover it. And that's how we wound up with the Affordable Care Act, ultimately. When they get rid of it, there's going to be millions of Americans who can no longer afford health care. There's no way around that. There is no plan. There's no 1919, 1920 plan they're going to come up with to cover those millions of Americans. They're going to be doomed to a life at perhaps death without health care. So that's going to hurt them politically. Well, supporters of the plan say it gives more choice to Americans. Like opponents say a drop in federal assistance could leave some low-income yeah. Americans unable to afford health insurance. So, Matt, who are the winners and losers of this new plan? It's a good question, and I think if you asked HHS Secretary Price that, he would say that there were a lot of losers in Obamacare, and there's not a lot of focus on those people that have lost, people whose plans have become more expensive in terms of the uh, co-pays that they're paying, in terms of the, uh, you know, the entire way that, that their insurance plans are structured. A lot of people can't, can't handle them. Um, and so it is true that any, any bill that undoes a previous bill will have winners and losers. And so, yes, there will be individuals who are better off, individuals who are worse off. I think the point here is to get to a system where patients are empowered, where they can choose what plan is best for them, not the federal government, not bureaucrats choosing what plan they have to have. And that's why after the third phase of this plan, you'll have a 50-state marketplace. You'll have portability. Uh, you'll have small business health plans. When you add to that uh, the lessening of regulations and the lessening of taxes uh, in, the, in the first phase, I think, we're going to be better off. All right, we are just about out of time, but Glenn, final thought. Well, I just don't think that's true. There's going to be millions of people without access to health care, people that have access now, and that's a result. You know, Paul Ryan has all but admitted that, and he thinks it's the right thing to do. We had a free market once before, and people died because of a lack of health care. We're going back there? I don't think so. All right, Glenn, Matt, thank you both for sharing your perspectives with us tonight. Sure. Thank you.